Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can find Tadayuri's armor in the game Ghost of Tsushima. This is triggered by finding an old guy telling a story next to a campfire. However, you can find it if you go to the Crown of Violets on that little map image that I just popped into the video there. We're just going to follow along. You may have already picked up this quest, but maybe getting stuck at certain points. So hopefully I'm going to be able to give you a few pointers along the way. So once you find the Crown of Violets area, there is a little section where you can climb up the rock on the side to be able to get to where the shrine is. It's important you get to this section first because you're going to find a map here which is going to take you to the next location. Violet Crown. Tadayori's armor could be here. Incense. Burned recently. Something inside that container. Map to Tadayuri's rest. So now we've got the map, we're able to get our bearings on where we need to go next. You can't use the guiding wind for this section of the quest, so we are looking at lining ourselves up with the horizon here. It is pretty easy to spot this huge mountain in the distance. That's the mountain on the map that we need to go towards. So we literally now just need to go in that direction. Pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to skip through this part of the video to get there a little bit quicker. So once we actually get near the area, there's this large rocky area. You just need to run around the side to be able to find this hidden entrance that you need to crawl through. Once you've crawled through this crawl space and you continue forward, there is a little crevice that you need to just squeeze through to get then into Tada Yuri's rest. Once you've explored this area, you will find this guardian who you need to fight to be able to progress through to the next section. You're a liar and a thief. Defend yourself. <laughs> Hold, my lord. Once you've defeated Kaedi, you then just need to continue down to the Azamo Bay area. This now will be showing on your map and you'll be able to use the Guiding Wind in order to be able to find this. So just travel there and there is a large fort area here, so just be aware of that and be careful you don't get too close. The archers there are pretty dangerous. Along the side of this rocky area, here is an area that you can climb up to be able to get to the next area. So once you're up to the peak here, you're going to have some enemies in this area. You will need to defeat all these before you can progress to the next section of this quest. So you'll find a guy here who's almost like a ancestor of Tadayori. You will just need to free him, then you can go to his shrine to be able to collect his armor. There is going to be some waves of enemies that you will have to defeat here. But there you go, that's pretty much it guys. Just be aware that the hat I'm actually wearing is not part of the Tadayori armor set. It's just a hat that I was already wearing. It doesn't swap it over automatically when you put the armor on, so you may just want to switch that across the, the authentic one. But there you go, guys. Hopefully a few tips here have helped you, and if it has, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just watch this space for more Ghost of Tsushima, and I'll catch you guys on another video. Thanks for watching. You're ready for this. Yo, who's the daddy?